Coming up on the Final Huntsman series of the year, we look back at what adventures we got up to and the characters we met along the way throughout 2014. The Isuzu D-MAX Huntsman has been the vehicle of choice for several key international hunting adventures over the last two years here at Team TV, and this year was no different. Throughout the year we've been travelling all across Europe in our Huntsman as we go on hunting adventures. Our journey began when we went to one of our favourite destinations, Hungary. Before Ian set off though, Ian got kitted out with the help of John Bright from Highland Outdoors. And then, test his new gear out with his rifle of choice on the range. Hungary is a landlocked country in Eastern Europe, but boasts Europe's biggest lake, Lake Balaton. This former member of the Ottoman Empire, and later the Astro-Hungarian Empire, is filled with beautiful architecture that spans the centuries and tells its own story about the history of Hungary. Outside of the beautiful Hungarian towns and cities, there's a wealth of rolling hills, beautiful agricultural land, plenty of areas rich with game and ideal for hunting. No wonder Hungary is a hunter's ideal location. Whilst out in Hungary, we met up with the boys from Wonderheart to hunt some beautiful Raybox. But the row aren't hanging around. That's the way it works sometimes. You have a good wander around, suddenly you see the antlers sticking up. But they just don't want to stand still for you. No worries, man. After a long day, the pair managed to bag a couple of beautiful rows for the table. Ian readies himself. And a good clean shot ensures that the row is down. Wow. Now that was intense. Now, we put a lot of time in this afternoon. This is an absolutely fabulous estate. It's my first time here, so getting a, a good feel for the area, the vegetation, the lie, the land. There's some beautiful terracing out here, obviously from uh, previous um, agricultural days. But the game here is rich and plentiful. As the guys head back towards the Huntsman on foot, a second buck presents itself. Within the space of, I don't know, 45 minutes, got out the seat from the first buck, uh, just heading back uh, to get into the trucks and then head back. And then we see this, another small young buck, kind of popping its head up in about 150, 160 yards. Uh, unfortunately, he only gave us, uh, as you can see, a full frontal shot, but you know, I'm pretty steady at those distances and the 300 wind mag, we already know has penetration. So there's absolutely no shortage of venison on this trip. Really pleased with the shot, really pleased with the performance of the Nico Sterling Diamond, uh, illuminated, uh, 12 mag, 
plenty of magnification for these sorts of distances. We haven't really been able to test its light gathering capabilities today. That'll probably happen in the morning. But so far, two shots, two deer, and we're ready for a beer, I think. Meanwhile, back home in the UK, we saw Keith Watson from KA Services, an avid deer stalker with years of stalking experience, fabricate his own high seats and deer feeders to be used in the field. I'm going to finish that off. Um, we're going to load as many as we can into these Zoo Zoo Huntsmen, and the next time you'll see them, they'll be being uh, put out in, into position. Once the locations have been marked, Keith and Ian set out to the different locations and find a suitable tree to erect the high seat on. Keith's purpose-built high seats and feeders are fantastic tools for use in any deer stalker's arsenal. Practical in design and use, Keith's high seats can be broken down for easy transportation and can be assembled and erected in approximately 10 minutes. The deer feeder attracts the local game, allowing for easier deer management as well as helping the deer feed in the winter months. Strong and hardy, these products will last a lifetime. Keith then took our resident chef Kayat Bryn out in Oxfordshire to hunt some deer. I'm Kayat Bryn, director of the Wild Food Catering Company, and I've been shooting deer now for, for, for a few years. But being here with Keith, he's going to pass on some of his experience to me, and hopefully, I'll learn a thing or two today of what we're going to see. That's the plan, anyway, isn't it? We hope so. We hope, we hope so. so. Kai gets set in one of Keith's high seats, and the pair wait patiently. Their patience pays dividends as a nice muntjac buck wanders cautiously across the ride. Unfortunately, the buck is too nice and is possibly a medal. As the guys are only looking to take a buck for the coal bucks, they let him walk on. Right there, wrong day. Although they saw a lot of activity in the woods, none presented them with a shot. However, Kai learned a lot from Keith. It's that time of year when you're after the right deer on the right day and we've seen a lot of the wrong sex or wrong species, i.e. rodos. We've seen one or two quite quality muntjac bucks which are not on the cards at the moment at this time of year. Uh, so it's been unfortunate really, but uh, I think overall we've had a good day. Hopefully Kai's learnt one or two things he can put into his own stalking and we'll take, you know, see how he gets on. Back in Hungary, Wonderheart's head honcho Tamas is out just after sunrise and he's looking for a buck of his own. He's only just arrived on this piece of ground and already there's road deer on the move. A really nice car, car buck. He tried to stalk, but he's, he's a bit, bit jumpy this morning. He's probably he's out on the wheat field, so we need to make a circle and try to find with the good wind. Tamas moves quickly through the brush and the buck offers a shot. He shoots, but the buck bowls. So now is a good example what you don't need to do. Hit the, uh, try to, to shoot the, the deer in the, thick, in the thick stuff. It's happened with me. The deer is still running, but uh, we haven't seen any sign of uh, wounding. So he's, he's healthy. After missing his first buck, he manages to follow a trail leading him finally to bag one for the table. Tamas has the buck in his sights. The buck drops on the spot. Four of the road does make a dash through the vegetation. Right, the, the buck is in the bag. Uh, we spotted in the middle of the field. He was surrounded by uh, does. It was always difficult to, to, to shoot a good age buck because he's always, always with, uh, with uh, some guards. Zoltan congratulates Tamas and they share a traditional Hungarian show of appreciation for the fallen game. Meanwhile, Keith then took us back to his workshop and showed us how to prepare a trophy. He went through the entire process from skinning the head to bleaching the skull. 
When it comes to trophy day, the image that most people conjure up in the mind is this really big set of antlers, and in a lot of cases, that's not that's not true. A trophy is many things to many people, and it, it doesn't matter whether it be a young Munchak book like this, or quite a, a, a good good trophy that's to my right hand side here. It, a trophy is an individual's deer, so it's a memory of a stalk, memory of a hunt, and for many reasons, people want them on the wall. Back in Hungary, we caught up with Tamas as he and his friend Robbie had a little stalking competition to see who can provide dinner for the table. Both men set out in search of their prized buck. However, only one was successful. There's no shortage of bucks in this neck of the woods and Robbie spotted another one just along the wood line. He uses the edge of the woods as cover, but it soon halts it. The buck is barking and that means one thing. Robbie, you've been spotted, mate. No good. Luckily though, that barking has spooked the early group of bucks out of the cover and they make a dash across the field for the other side. One of the group hangs back and stops running. As it pauses for a few seconds, Robbie gets it in his sights and takes aim. The shot is good and the buck drops on the spot. Robbie is pretty happy. Perfect shoot. Wow. As you saw, he took a phenomenal shot. I have to admit, it was a great shot. On a, on a lame, kind of wounded animal, so it was one that did need taking out. However, the shot was a little bit too good and ended up he created his own, very own unicorn rover. So Robbie, you did win, and congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I'd like to present Thank you, you with your trophy for the evening. Yeah. Next, he continued his journey in the great Hungarian countryside by claiming his very own trophy buck early on in the day. Now, as we saw him a little while as we were stalking along, stood there with a couple of uh, does, nice and peaceful, nice and relaxed over here. He could see us and he kind of skipped over the ditch and then just moved him to what he thought uh, was, was a safe distance. But unfortunately, a 300 wind mag and 170 grain Lapua Neutralis, that is far enough. So really, really pleased. It's still early in the morning. We've still got an opportunity of going out and harvesting a couple more. But to begin with, this is an absolute stunning buck. But this is some of the most exciting and most exhilarating hunting that there exists, certainly in deer stalking. So, what can I say? Beautiful landscape, phenomenal scenery, loads of animals. We've just got to be right on the ball. Ian gets us still a predator onto his sticks. There's three row deer on the edge of the crops heading towards the maze. If they get into that crop, they'll disappear and the chance will have passed. Ian follows them in his crosshairs, hoping they'll stop. And they do, just short of the crops. Ian makes a good shot and the buck drops on the spot. Absolutely beautiful buck. Perfect shot there in the front of the shoulder. Lovely purling on him. Beautiful, typical, lovely symmetry on him. Nice and healthy, really, really pleased. Great stalk, beautiful countryside. Once again, this is the sort of experience you get with Wonderheart. They know where the game is. There's a lot of animals here and they know how to get you close. As Ian and Tamas carry the buck back to the truck, it wraps up a fantastic trip in the Isuzu D-Max Huntsman. Ian and the trusty pickup truck made the long journey across the mainland Europe to Hungary. Covered plenty of ground to spot game. And scan the darkness for problem pests. Both Ian and the Huntsman have been reliable when it's counted. To find out more about the Azuzu D-Max Huntsman, visit azuzuoutdoorlife.co.uk. Subscribe to Team Wild TV to stay up to date with all of our new videos and the new lineup of shows for 2015.